In last episode, I pulled up anchor here on Long Island in the Bahamas. So in this episode, I take off and I head 40 miles west to Georgetown on Great Exuma. Here's a satellite view of my path. So yeah, I pulled up anchor and then... Okay, completion, now we gotta turn around and get on course. We gotta get the chart book so I can see where I'm at. Come on. Come on. Charts aren't even showing. Luckily, I have the same Navionics chart program on my phone. You always want redundancy on a sailboat, so if one thing fails, you have a backup. This is some fuck shit right there. I also have paper charts as a third backup just in case. I knew I was pretty safe because it was fairly wide open as you can see here. But I wanted to see on the chart where there might be shallow spots. Eventually I got the charts working and I turned on my autopilot. Water doesn't get much more gorgeous than that. I don't have the sails up yet, a couple reasons. Uh, one is the direction is straight on the back end. I'm going uh, running with the wind, dead down wind. And I don't have a spinnaker and sometimes the head sail acts a little goofy. So I'm getting ready to turn at an angle while not getting ready, but here in a couple hours I'm gonna turn about uh, 15 degrees to the port side and I should be able to get the head sail out at least. I've got light winds right now, only about uh, 10 knots, so it's not gonna do that much good anyway. And I'm on a bit of a time schedule trying to get into the anchorage before dark. I did have the sail out for a bit and I was only going like three knots, not fast enough to get me there um, before dark. So it's only about 10 feet right here, just incredible. All right, I turned the corner there, about 10 degrees. Uh, I was hoping I would have enough wind to push this sail along, but the wind has dropped to like seven knots. As you can see here, I just put the head sail out as sort of experimental. And I've still got the, I've still got the engine going just at a, just above an idle uh, pace. And it's dropped my speed down from six knots now down to three knots. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to turn off the engine as I was hoping. I'm just going to keep it moving to get there by dark. Nonetheless, wanted to show you this scenery. Just incredible blue water. I wish you guys could be here. All right, 
so I'm going to go ahead and turn up the uh, engine a little bit higher so I can get my speed back. Just because, I, like I said, I was experimenting. Uh, with the engine actually going, but at the slowest speed, and with the head sail out, I'm only going a little over three knots and 15 feet of water. So you can see here, speed of wind is only speed of wind is right over seven knots. Okay, I'm gonna push the uh, push the lever down a bit. All right, back to my music and do a little fishing. Still no luck with the fishing. I swear I'm not doing it right. But I'm also in shallow water. I think uh, people say they have more luck in a little bit deeper water. Just to show you what I've got for fishing, I'm using some trolling skirt lures. And in addition to my fishing rod, I've got a hand line out. This is the hand line. This is what they call a yo-yo part of the hand line. I'm on, a, I'm on a different boat right now, but I just wanted to fill in this gap here in the video. When I was editing, I realized that uh, I didn't have any footage of what this hand line was. I wanted to show you guys how it works. I set it up like this. I tie it to a cleat near the cockpit. And I then tie a little loop in the line where I can place a bungee cord. Here's a loop, and it's going to be toward the stern of the boat here. This way, when you have a fish on, the bungee will stretch out and you can see that you have a fish. You might also put some kind of noisemaker here to alert you when you've got activity. Okay, so where were we? Still no luck with the fish, and I swear I'm not doing it right. Oh shit! Oh shit, we've got a fish! Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Here I grab the hand line from the cleat in the cockpit. Hold on! Holy crap, yo! What is it? What is it? It's a medium sized fish. Jesus. Looks like it is. Ah. Barracuda, of course, Barracuda. Now we got to see about getting these. I gotta see about getting this hook off and letting this guy go. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the uh, camera set up a little bit better for you. Whoa, Jesus. See if I can get the camera set up better. And I'm gonna get my tools 
so that way I can get down there and uh, try to get the hook out of the mouth. Hold on. So it's about a two, I'd say two feet long barracuda. All right, let me set up the camera. I gotta make sure I'm not uh, going in the wrong direction. And then I'm going to put on my life. Then I'm gonna put on my life vest. I'm gonna strap onto this lifeline. Uh, that way I can kind of sit right down there and try to work the uh, the hook out. Looks like it's just barely in there anyway. So I think I can get this. I think I can get this hook out. All right. These things have big old teeth, as you can see, so you don't want to do the normal technique of grabbing by the mouth with your thumb. There he goes. Okay, let's see. Oh, just a barracuda, unfortunately. But my first, my first uh, fish off of this boat. Kind of exciting. All right, not too, uh, not too pretty. But I'm not a professional fisherman. Just so you know, that's my first. Uh, first catch off this boat. Uh, I wonder if it's off any boat. I've gone fishing in lakes and things off the shore, but got to keep an eye out for the uh, what's ahead. Anyway, now I got a little uh, routine down, so I've got my supplies I need. Rather than letting the fish flop around there for 10 minutes while I get everything ready, now I've got everything ready: the pliers, um, the life vest, just in case that happens again. Oh shit! Another fish on. Another fish on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's set this up for you. Hold on there. Okay. Looks like it could be be the same kind of barracuda, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, see if I can give you a visual. A better visual as I pull this thing in. Uh,
Looks like it could be the exact same size Barracuda. Let's see. Yep, looks to be the exact same size. Let me make sure I'm on the right course here. All right. Let's try the same, let's try the same as last time, but a little, hopefully with a little more finesse this time. Uh, this one's a little smaller. Come on. Uh, that time he had the hook right in the top. So hopefully he's going to make it. Okay. Something about this lure that attracts this barracuda. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. Gotta check the chart. Gotta check the map. I was getting close to turning into the harbor that's near Georgetown, so I went ahead and pulled in the fishing lines to pay closer attention to the charts. Hey, thanks for watching. See you next time when I have some special visitors by the boat. Hi, my name is Dr. David Pierce, and I am a Patreon supporter of Josh Post. So because of his encouraging videos that he always does, I'm taking my first sailing lesson today. Thanks, Josh. Check out the shirt. Oh my gosh, is that not a nice looking shirt there? Oh, thank you.